Today, we have a new battery from Red Odo. Let's open it up. We have our product manual packet, our terminal bolts. All right, and there's the battery. So this is their 12 volt, 140 amp hour smart Bluetooth battery. It says it has low temp protection. Uh, it's a group 31 size. And the specs here at the top, it says it can do a max continuous charge at 140 amps and a max continuous discharge at 150 amps. And then here is a little QR code that we can search to download the app for this battery. Okay, so let's get a weight on this battery. And we have come in at 28.2 pounds. All right, so the battery was completely asleep. So I ended up having to use this other smaller battery to wake it up and then uh, now we've got access through the app. So here's the app right here. It's showing 48% state of charge. So let's go ahead and hook up my charger and charge this guy up. There we go. Now we're charging. And the app says it's going to take an hour and 47 minutes. We're charging at 584 watts, uh, 42 amps. All right, so when that completes, I'll be back. All right, the battery is now 100% charged. We can see uh, the app saying state of charge is 100%. So now I've got my shunt hooked up. I've got it set as a 140 amp hour battery. So let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And I'm using the heater as the load. It's that time again. It's getting cool outside. All right, so we are now pulling about a thousand watts. 78 amps. So we'll just let it go ahead and continue on and I'll be back. All right, so we are down to 1%. Uh, showing that we have 2.2 amp hours left to go. All right, so we're down to zero. Uh, we still have a little bit left here, 0.3 amp hours. And there we go. We have discharged a full 140 amp hours out of this battery. Uh, it still has some power left in there, but we're not able to see it with this shunt. This shunt won't tell us any more information. All right, so I think I got this lid ready to come off. There we go. So we've got a big old 150 amp Redodo branded BMS, smart BMS. So we've got one, two, three, four, 10 gauge silicone jacketed wires for the negative. And then on the positive, we have a double something in there. A double seven. So we've got a double seven gauge uh, silicone jacketed wire as well. And it also has this extra sheathing over it, which is nice. And so we do have prismatic cells. <clears throat> I 
I can't get them out because I think they're stuck on the bottom. Ugh, yeah. All right, well, let's just look and see if we can tell a little bit about the construction here. Um, there's the bottom of the cells. We've got this banding around it. It does have these uh, plastic corners, high density foam all the way around. Uh, there is separation material between the cells. We have aluminum welded bus bars. And I think this right here is the temperature sensor. But I don't know if I can get it because it feels like it's stuck. Like it's probably glued on top of the cells and I can't get them out. Yeah, so I tried and I can't get them out. <laughs> so I'm giving up. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna wrap up the video. As always, let me know what you think about this battery down in the comments. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you on the next one.